Hello, welcome to my channel, Out and About with Martin. Today we're going to do the Sheffield 15 mile round walk. Doing this in three different sections. First part will be Encliffe Park to Whirladale Park. Second part will be Whirladale Park to Grace Park. And third part, Grace Park back here to Encliffe Park. In part one, we will discover what links Encliffe Park with the United States Air Force. We will also learn about the history of Shepherd's Wheel and discover what unusual animals live in Mayfield Valley. So, let's walk! Here we have the Mi Amigo Memorial. On the 22nd of February 1944, B-17 Flying Fortress Mi Amigo was part of a daylight operation by aircraft from the 305th Bombardment Group, US 8th Army Air Force, based at Sheffelston Airfield, Northamptonshire. The intention was to bomb the Luftwaffe military airbase located at Alborg in Nazi-occupied Denmark. However, on reaching the target, the cloud cover was so thick the crews couldn't locate the base and were unable to release the bombs for fear of killing innocent civilians in the town. The group was targeted by German anti-aircraft guns and attacked by enemy fighters as they aborted the mission and jettisoned the bombs over the sea. During the attack, Mi Amigo took heavy damage, especially to the engines. She was struggling to keep up with the main group, was losing altitude and soon dropped behind. Visibility was bad and all contact was lost, probably due to damage to the aircraft communication equipment. Three B-17s in the formation were shot down, with most crew members being killed and the others captured as prisoners of war. The German fighter, an ME-109, which attacked me Amigo, was also shot down and the pilot killed. At around 1700 hours and over 100 miles from base, Mi Amigo descended through dense cloud over Sheffield. She was clearly in difficulty with engines stuttering and struggling to keep in the sky. As the bomber descended through the clouds of Sheffield, the pilot saw the green open space of Encliffe Park and decided that would be the ideal place to crash land the plane. Unfortunately, as he got lower, he could see many small children playing in the area and did not want to injure or risk killing them. So he diverted the plane and crashed it into the trees. One of those children was at Tony Folds, eight years old at that time. And every day since, he has come and tended this memorial garden. The memorial is flanked by 10 American oaks planted to commemorate the 10 crew members that died. So we come out of Encliffe Park, we cross over into Bingham Park. Mm -hmm. 
As you're walking through Bingham Park to your right you will see Shepherd's Wheel. The earliest known records of there being a wheel at this site was in 1584 when William Baton, a cutler, left the wheel to his sons in his will. The present buildings date from 1780 during the time that Edward Shepherd, after whom the site is now named, was the tenant of the wheel. Small kitchen knives and pen knives were made at this site up until 1930. Shepherd's Wheel is a working museum and is open to the public Saturdays, Sundays and bank holidays from 10am till 4pm. Now come the end of White the Woods, cross over to the next section of the Round Walk which will take us towards Forge Dam. Now come to these steps, you've got other steps. Across the road, into the next section of the woodland. Round Walk is a series of woods and parks. Separated by roads that we simply have to cross. Go the right, they both come out to Forge Dam. We're going to take the walk through the trees over these stepping stones. Here we are, the very popular Forge Dam. Here we are in Forge Dam. Back in the late 70s, this was one of my stomping grounds. We used to come up here most Sundays, meet up with friends. The dam at that time had a very small island in the middle, not this large island that is now emerged. There's rowing boats on here, very popular site. It's become overgrown in recent years, now a haven for wildlife. local conservation group has now managed to raise over £260,000 to help bring it back to its former glory whilst at the same time maintaining the wildlife. Leave Forge down behind us. We take a right hand path and head towards the Mayfield Valley. Come to the road and go straight across the road and into Mayfield Valley.
Porta Clough, you come to a picnic site, you then follow a short road section to Ring in Low, you will pass the Mayfield Animal Park featuring the Mayfield Alpacas. Junction, we turn left, and then we will cross the road and turn right and start going down the fields towards Whirladale Park. Just left, we will see Norfolk Arms. You can have a much needed pint. We're going to press on because it's not open yet. Continue along here. Just a short walk, 50 metres along this road, and then we turn left, follow the path down into the woods. So come to the path, you'll see the letter again, another sign for Sheffield Round Walk. Now start a nice easy downhill walk which is the last part of this section of the Sheffield Round Walk. If you look over to your right uh, you'll see where the cars are parked. That is the start of one of my other walks, Lady Canning's Plantation. There's a link to that walk in the description which you can click on come to the start of the woods let's see another sign for our walk send us through this gate to the right Willowdale Hall can be hired out for weddings and other functions. We're going to be walking down here now and enjoying the very nice gardens. You can see behind me. Just come to the end of the driveway. Take a right turn. This is the end of part one of my series on Sheffield Round Walk. Part two will start in this exact spot and we'll continue to walk on the rest of the 15 mile round walk. If you're going to do this walk in several sections like I am, this is an ideal part to finish your first section. Just turn to the left here. Just 50 metres down the road, there's a regular bus service that takes you back to your starting point at Hunter's Bar. Well, hope you've enjoyed part one of the Sheffield Round Walk. Part two will take us from here at Whirladale Park all the way up to Graves Park. So, until then, look after yourselves, see you soon.